Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Drawing with Steffi. Uh, I've had a few people uh, ask some questions about how to get Paint Tool Sci or really any uh, graphics program to um, have different types of pressure sensitivity. Uh, the first thing you really are going to need is some sort of um, tablet. Um, I have a Wacom. Uh, that's really the industry standard. They have the best sensitivity. They are a little bit more expensive than some of the other brands out there, but uh, you really do get what you pay for. Uh, there are a lot of um, tablets out there that will just make your life crazy if you try to use them. Um, so let's get started here. Um, if you find that you're not getting any pressure sensitivity at all after you followed the steps I'm going to talk about, you may want to make sure that um, your drivers are updated. Um, some different computers and systems uh, don't like to play nice when you uh, uh, try to upload the drivers. Also, some drivers can conflict with other ones, um, so you also want to try to do some technical support. All right. Over here are your brushes. Hopefully you can see them. Um, I'm just going to start with uh, the pen brush. And I'm going to make this fairly big so just so, I, so you can see what I'm doing. Let's see. Let's choose a color you can actually see me drawing with. All right. As you can see, my pen starts out really, really thin and then gets a little bit thicker. Well, as I draw, I'm putting a little bit more pressure onto my tablet with the stylus. And you can change how much pressure, at least in Paint Tool Sci. Uh, you can a little bit in Photoshop, but that's a little different. Um, I'm not very good with Photoshop, the newer one, so I'm not going to do a tutorial on that. Uh, you'll have to look on uh, other locations for help with that. But right down here, hopefully y'all can see, um, there is a toggle called Hard Soft. Now, I have it fairly hard, so that means it requires a lot of pressure before you start getting a really thick line. But if you have a fairly soft touch, what you want to do, or maybe you just want really thick lines anyway, is move the toggle towards the soft side. So now I barely have to put any pressure at all on the stylus before I get a really thick line. I'm going to move this back down. Um, you're just going to have to play around with that until you find a pressure sensitivity that works best for you. It also depends on what you're trying to do. I find that when I'm using a lot of the blurring brushes or when I'm trying to paint, it's good to have a softer um, pressure sensitivity. Something else you want to look at is minimum size. Uh, the minimum size is how small the first and lightest mark will be. So if you uh, find that it's just getting too thin and you want it a little bit thicker, but you don't want a huge line, what you can do is you can move the min size up some. And as you can see, now my brush is really thick. It shouldn't be quite that thick, but let's move that down a little bit. There we go. And see, I can make put pressure on it, and it makes it bigger, but it's still fairly thick as I draw, even without any pressure. I'm going to erase that again. I usually keep my min pressure like at zero because I like the really thin lines. I'm going to zoom in here. To get the really, really thin lines, it depends on which brush you're using. Every brush is going to have different settings, and there are lots of toggles. Like in here, you can see my um, line here is kind of fuzzy at the edge. That's because I'm using the brush tool. The brush tool likes to be fuzzy. It's very soft line. Um, the pen tool is very hard. Um, you can use some of the toggles down here and that will change how hard or soft something is. So let's go to the brush and you see it's really soft and fluffy here. I already have the edge hardness, which is a toggle down here in advanced settings. You have to, sometimes you have to click on it. It's right above um, the pixel description of how big the brush sizes are. And you can bring it all the way up to 100 and that'll harden it up a little bit, but you still have to remember this is the brush tool and it's designed to be softer. It's supposed to be like ink or paint. You can also play around with the min density and that made it a little bit thicker. Let's clear that out so you can see a little bit better. See how that's nice and flat? 
but I'm going to put it back to 100 because that's the way I like it. Um, also, there's different brushes. Um, I like to ink with the airbrush. Um, I have special settings I use for it. Um, I like using the um, the slightly softer nib. Um, they call them edge shapes. Um, this is the third one down from the right. It's slightly rounded off. And I found that gives it a really nice um, line. Um, also, there's the stabilizer, which just helps uh, keep your lines from being wiggly. It kind of slows down the the movement of the cursor so you get these really luscious lines without those silly wibbles that you get if you're using like Photoshop or Illustrator or GIMP. Um, see how nice it's it slows it down but you get these really great lines that have a lot of control. If I try doing this without the stabilization see it's a lot faster but the lines aren't quite as smooth. Um, you get a little wibbles and I like using the stabilizer. Um, let's see. Anyway, I'm going to put the stabilizer up fairly high. I'm, I like using like the S3 through S4. Um, I'm also going to make my uh, minimum size to 3 because I, I don't want it to be too, too thin. And the density, I'm going to back it off a little bit to 89. And the soft on the pressure sensitivity is going to be, let's see, 76. If it's a little off, that's okay. But that gives me some really nice lines. It's a little bit fuzzy. But for whatever reason, when I use the airbrush, even on a high uh, stabilization feature, it doesn't give these little weird, you know, hooks that you do when you use the pen tool. There's something about... Um, the high stabilization that when you're using the, um, let's see if I can get it to do it. Probably won't do it now that I'm talking about it. Um, when using the pen tool, sometimes it gives these little weird hooks. Of course, it's not going to do it because I'm trying to talk about it, but um, sometimes it gives these little weird um, hooks at the end of the line. Yeah, it's not going to do it because I'm trying to show you it. <laughs> Isn't that always the way? But there are lots of different tools. Uh, but that's the major way of getting a really super thin line is making sure that the minimum size is at zero or really low and making sure that pressure sensitivity is checked. Um, if you take pressure sensitivity off, um, it's not going to do a lot of the same things it's supposed to. Here, let me change this around. Now see how it gets this big bold thing? I took size off and that's the pressure sensitivity there. And pressure also does some other things. Move the stabilization off. But I hope that has helped. Um, if you have other questions about Psy or uh, digital art in general, um, or questions about the Wacom tablets, uh, feel free to ask. You can email me at cybercatgraphics at yahoo.com or you can just leave me a message here on YouTube or at DeviantArt or for Affinity. I thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.